Hello. God bless. Today is Proverbs Challenge, day 14. The Proverbs Challenge is 31 chapters in Proverbs, 31 days in August. We're doing a chapter a day in Proverbs. Today's is chapter 14. Contrast the upright and the wicked. The wise woman builds her house on a foundation of godly precepts, and her household thrives. But the foolish one lacks spiritual insight, tears it down with her own hands by ignoring godly precepts. He who walks in the upright reverently fears the Lord and obeys and worships Him with profound respect. But he who is devious in his ways despises Him. In the mouth of the arrogant fool who reject God is a rod for his back. But the lips of the wise, when they speak with godly wisdom, will protect them. Where there are no oxen, the manger is clean. But much revenue because of good crops comes by the strength of the ox. A faithful and trustworthy witness will not lie, but a false witness speaks lies. A scoffer seeks wisdom and finds none, for his ears are closed to wisdom. But knowledge is easy for one who understands, because he is willing to learn. Leave the presence of a short-sighted fool, for you will not know, you will not find knowledge or hear godly wisdom from his lips. The wisdom of the sensible is to understand his way. But the foolishness of short-sighted fools is deceit. Fools mock sin, but sin mocks the fool. But among the upright there is a good will and favor and blessings of God. The heart knows its own bitterness, and no stranger shares its joy. The house of the wicked will be overthrown, but the tent of the upright will thrive. There is a way which seems right to a man. And appears straight before him, but it end, but its end is the way of death. Even in laughter, the heart may be in pain, and the end of joy may be grief. the The backslider in heart will have his fill with his own rotten ways, but a good man will be satisfied with his ways. The godly thought and action which his heart pursues and in which he delights. The naive or inexperienced person is easily misled and believes every word he hears. But the prudent man is discreet and astute and considers well where he is going. That's good coffee. A wise man suspects danger and cautiously avoids evil, but the fool is arrogant and careless. A quick-tempered man acts foolishly and without self-control, and a man of wicked schemes is hated. The naive are unsophisticated and easy to exploit and inherit foolishness. But the sensible are thoughtful and far-sighted and are crowned with knowledge. The evil will bow down before the good and the wicked will bow down at the gates of the righteous. The poor man is hated even by his neighbor, but those who love the rich are many. He who despises his neighbor sins against God and his fellow man. But happy, blessed, and favored by God is he who is gracious and merciful to the poor. Do not go astray who devise the evil and wander from the ways of righteousness. But kindness and truth will be to those who devise good. In all labor there is profit, but mere talk leads only to poverty. The crown of the wise is the wealth of wisdom, is their wealth of wisdom. But the foolishness of clothed minded fools is nothing but folly. A truthful witness saves lies, but he, he who speaks lies is treacherous. In the, in the reverent fear of the Lord, there is strong confidence. 
and his children will always have a place of refuge. The reverent fear of the Lord that leads to obedience and worship is a fountain of life, so that one may avoid the snares of death. In a multitude of people is a king's glory, but in a lack of people is a pretentious prince's ruin. He who is slow to anger has great understanding and profits from his own from his self control. But he who is quick tempered exposes and exalts the foolishness for all to see. A calm and peaceful and tranquil heart is life and health to the body. But passion and envy are like the rottenness to the bones. He who oppresses the poor taunts and insults his maker. But he who is kind and merciful and gracious to the needy honors him. The wicked is overthrown through his wrongdoing. But the righteous has hope and confidence and a refuge with God even in death. Wisdom rests silently in the heart of one who has understanding. But what is in the heart of short-sighted fools is made known. Righteousness, moral and spiritual integrity, virtuous character exalts a nation. But sin is a disgrace to many to any people. The king's favor And goodwill are toward a servant who acts wisely and discreetly, but his anger and wrath are toward him who acts shamefully. Love you all. God bless.